Good morning. Got some stuff to do outside today. We're gonna burn some of them bigger stumps, do the initial burn on them, get them going. Uh, there's a good channel in all of them. Fill them up with diesel fuel, get them on fire, try to get them burning from the inside. That way they'll smolder and smolder. And eventually, probably after a month, I'll get most of them gone. Uh, what else I need to do today? Oh, I'm gonna take you out here and I'm gonna show you where I plan to put the new addition. And if you're going, what new addition? Well, you didn't watch the other channel, the last two videos, where I explain what I'm getting ready to do. Yep, so go check those out and then uh, you'll know what's going on. Man, I told you guys, you gotta keep, you gotta, gotta at least look at the titles. Okay, if you don't wanna watch the video, go look at the title, then you'll know. Simple. All right, let's go out, see what these dogs are up to. I have a feeling, a big feeling, somebody's in trouble. Don't wanna say who, but I got a pretty good idea. One of the outer dogs, I just happened to, happened to see something this morning. I gotta go see where the evidence is. So let's go take care of that. What did you guys get into? In the dog port, I see something. What is that? I already know it, why are you limping? What did you do? Oh goodness, she's always had trouble with that paw. What is this trash? That is not from my yard. You were in somebody's trash, Millie. Her paw, she, she'll probably walk on it better here in a bit. What did you do? You better stay out of people's trash. Oh, what am I gonna do with you? Let me see you walk a little bit. I think she probably hurt that paw when she was younger because I've seen her do this before and then she's fine, but I don't know, I don't eat chips. They're worse than kids, man. They are. Uh, let's, uh, let's go take care of these kids. How many days do these cicadas live? Yes, Waddles, I'm late. Uh, chickens, chickens, chickens. Not only do I got to do that now, but they've gotten used to this clover. Got a nice good patch of it here. They'll be waiting. It's a never ending uh, food supply. Oh, I almost got you, Waddles. Oh, yeah, they don't like her. They don't let her get down there and eat. I'll show you what I got to do for her. There you go. Can't let them all have it, not her. Oh. oh, what is this? Oh, that girl. What is this? I had a pillow in the fire pit. I had that rag in the fire pit. Oh, Millie. That has Millie written all over it. Guess I better go get the diesel fuel. Light that on fire. I don't know what else I'm gonna find. Fog, uh, fog in morning. Uh, yeah, we 
a sister. I know you, you don't do stuff like that. That is the guiltiest looking face I have ever seen in my life. She knows I've seen that. You do. Did you wait? You did all that in the last half hour because I was up on the deck earlier and that wasn't there. Uh, all right, guys. We got some work to do today. Before we do that, let me show you where I plan on putting the new addition. Yep, I'm going to add on to the cabin. You would know that if you watch my other channel for the last two videos because I've talked about it. So here's what we're going to do. Right here. Coming out right here. We're going to put a 16 by 32 addition. I'm going to have a building built and brought in and set right here. It's going to have a big living room, two bedrooms. Now, that's 20 feet long. I want to take, I want to put it, have it set as close to the cabin as I can. Probably three or four feet from the cabin. And I'm going to cut a door right there. That's the new office. There'll be a doorway there with a breezeway here that goes into the new addition. All of it will be painted. It'll look the same. It'll look like one building. I don't want the cabin to sit high like that building does. So we're gonna have uh, some dirt work done here. Have all this leveled out. So I've gotta get this, uh, it, this, it's not gonna go out as far as the stump. It's gonna come out right even with this. But I still need to get that stump out of here and get some dirt work done because they're going to have to bring this building in. And we don't want that kind of stuff in the way. It needs to go away anyway. I think what I'm going to do is just set that dude on fire and let it burn and burn and burn. And we can do that. I might do that this morning. So here's where it will be set. Uh, I wish the carport wasn't there now, but it is. It's, it's not going to be in the way. But 16 feet's gonna come all the way to that little speck right here. So it'll come this far out through the front of that. Man, that's gonna be a lot more room. A lot more room. And then let me show you the new driveway. Okay, right there's the existing driveway. But when this house was built originally, it had a circle drive. See how that slopes right there? That's part of the old driveway. So all I need to do is have some gravel brought in, that three inch rock, and it comes from there and it comes around. You can, you can see how it's shaped. It's still there. Just gotta clear all this stuff out. Uh, I've been working on it. And I have rock laid in here and then it's coming up right here, right into the carport. This can be removed. Oh my God, will that be some work to get that removed. Look at all this stuff. You gonna help Tilly? So anyway, that needs to be in place. Uh, I don't see any low lying limbs right now, maybe down there. So they could bring that building right in here. Or, you know, whatever way they want, but they can come in either way. But this will have to happen to put the addition up. I could still use this one. Oh, why I bought a carport. Truck always sits out here. It's a dog port, it's not a carport. So this is the, but I gotta bring in this stuff, probably four truckloads. And I gotta make sure that I've got that cut way down. Oh, that's gonna be nice. I could drive on that right now with the truck I have, but. I need to make sure there's no stumps or small sharp stumps or whatever. So this is where it's gonna be. Right there, we're gonna have Dirksen build it. And it's gonna be extra beefy. Three quarter inch plywood flooring, 12 on, or 16 on center studs, 12 inch on center 
uh, floor joist is going to be stout. Uh, and it will be set on blocks, 16 inch by 16 inch blocks, big sturdy blocks. Of course, we're going to have this all leveled. And it isn't going to take a whole lot to get this level. It's not too bad over here. Uh, I can't do it on the other side. Too much plumbing, too much electrical in the way. And it, this is just a better spot. Sticking up for your sister? She says, I don't want nothing to do with that. I didn't tear nothing up. That one. Millie, Millie, Millie. You're going to have to get your paw looked at. I think it's an old injury that you keep injuring because you've always limped on it. But then it goes, then it's fine. All right, got that fire pit lit. Man, we're doing some initial burns on these stumps. You know, it's going to take many times probably to get them down. I let some diesel soak down in them for probably 15 minutes. And got three of them going. These things have been cut down for two years, so them stumps are pretty dry. So hopefully we get a good initial burn. I'm not expecting much. This one ought to burn pretty good. It's cedar. Those other guys, the other ones are pine. Yeah. Boy, I got to mow some grass. I got to remember I put those concrete blocks there. I don't want to hit them with the mower. So we'll see how far they burn down by the end of this video. I don't have much diesel left, but we'll see how far we can do it. And of course, we've got this one. As soon as I get up out of the chair, this one's butts in it and doesn't care. Boo. I said, boo. He says, get the hell out of here, daddy. I'm not the only one in this house that likes bacon. You gotta cook for all the kids too.
Well, that didn't work out too well. Hey, that's bacon grease. That's good stuff. Now you know how McDonald's makes your McMuffins. These little rings I got from Amazon. All right, man. Let's eat. Oh, my. I have this piece of bacon and this piece of steak. Oh, my. What do I ever do with it? Oh, do I, do I have a taker? Huh? You mean you like bacon? Oh, that's a big piece. It's warm. And off she goes. I have no idea. And my ceiling fan in here died. Not even two years old. And I checked the power, the power going to it's good. So something in there happened, but uh, today I got another one of these coming. So we're gonna put one of them in there. That's gonna be much better. As you can see, I've got food supplies up stacked up to there. So did you like your real bacon? Yeah, I made too much. Yeah, I could only eat about five pieces of it been about two hours guys this stuff's burning good so it should burn on its own for a long time now poison ivy's gone yeah see how it's burning towards the center there that one there i had to put some more diesel on that one but it's doing good now and this one's got a really good smolder going oh yeah that'll burn for days now that's how you want them, right down the middle. So they burn from the inside out. And then they'll go for weeks sometimes. This is a huge tree here. Uh, I do got that one over there. That's not going to set on fire too well. I need to get a fire ring put around it and put some other wood and stuff and it'll burn. And we got some more over here. I <laughs> still ain't done weed eating. God, it's getting high quick. And I got to get this grass mowed. So I might do that here in a little bit once it dries up. Yeah. I know. I know. Got another plans for more building. I haven't even finished this one yet. Wow, it's nice and cool in here. Ah, look at this, guys. Jimmy's on vacation this week. When he gets back, he's supposed to stop by with his patrol truck and pick out two of these uh he does probably want that one i still gotta do another review on that some of these you gotta do more than one video on and that one i gotta do another video on uh but that would be a good one for them and i got two more coming i know hey man i'll do the reviews all day long and i'll give them away or whatever you know i don't need this many but i'm gonna I enjoy them. They are fun. I'm going to take one probably next week. There's a big eight, eight mile long trail in Oklahoma I want to ride on. So that one's still my favorite, but I do like that one too. I like them all. I like them all. But as you can see, man, they take up a lot of room. It's like a dealership in here, an e bike dealership. Ah, all right. Yeah, I'm afraid it's going to be too hot too soon to do anything in here, but uh, well, we'll see what we can do. I don't know. I don't put timelines on stuff, obviously. Look at the grass now, guys. This is where I put all that seed down. I'm, gonna, I'm not even going to cut this this summer. I'm going to let it just grow. 
establish a bunch of roots and stuff in there. Uh, this is very soft when you step on it because it's not compacted. So I want all these roots to take in there. And when you get grass like this going, you don't get many weeds because the grass keeps them out. Well, it'd be nice to have this all over the place. I need to get some more of this seed and just kind of gradually start spreading it out. Uh, I put some there. It's not growing too much there because I use that as a walking path, but this here is doing good. So, I mean, this is going to help with the water. And it already has. redesigned something you know on, on another uh, company so this doesn't have the pitch but that that looks good there oh, the door moved these are really cool sights so I want to put the side door that's going up against the cabin far over like that or actually no it's gonna be over here so when I make my breezeway that it lines up with where I got it going Metal roof, same as a house. This is the side that will face the carport. It will face the south portion of the property. Now, I ain't going to have the greatest view from these windows, but this will let in light. Uh, this will give me the mountain view in the back. Uh, and the door, the back door would be there. And this is the end that would have the bedrooms in it. Uh, this is the back bedroom would have two windows there and a window there and in the middle we you know this I'm just now drawing this up so you know this is the part that would you would see from the road back bedroom of course there's going to be a hallway here so you're not going to need a window there that will also be the living room living room partial living room and if we take a look at the interior oh these are so cool you can see you got all that space so let me look back here you would have a bedroom goes all the way across then a really short hallway and then a bedroom here now that bedrooms probably only going to be I don't know 10 by 12 yeah 10 by 12 good enough for a put a bed in this one will be a little bigger because it'll be 16 feet long and then all this can be the living room area. I've got plenty of room for a sofa. And 16 on center studs. Now this one gives doesn't give the option. It gives you, uh, for the floor, it'll give you th three-quarter tongue and groove, which is fine in OSB. That, that, that's plenty strong. OSB is strong stuff. So, but the price on this one, for the same, you know, dimensions is 15305 Now that's just a rough estimate. You know, they're always going to be more. And, of course, I'll probably add more stuff. That's as close to color as I could get to the cabin. But, yeah, I mean, that will work. And here's my cabin coming down here. We'll create a breezeway to the existing cabin. And then that door I'll probably remove. And then, you know, but this will be framed all already for a door. So if this gets removed or whatever I want to do, I'm probably going to end up putting a mini split in here. I do have plans to put one in the main cabin because I am sick of buying an air conditioner every <laughs> two years. So we're going to put mini splits. Probably going to be one in here. And that will give me heat and air. And, uh, well... 
we're in the initial stages guys so this could this is subject to change i'm sure it will change uh they didn't give me too many options for the gable up here so we'll have to that's one of them things you have to get what you generally want and then go on in and talk with them so but that's that's what i'm uh that's the general idea of what i got going on all right i got all three of these smoldering pretty good yeah, it's going to take time to get rid of these. Wow, that one's burnt down quite a bit already. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, yeah, that'll start smoldering real good. All right, that's going to wrap it up. Just a hodgepodge video, but, uh, you know, they can't all be build videos, and those are coming. Those are coming. Uh, I'm just one guy. So I do things according to when I can and how I can and how much I can. And that's what we're doing. I got other things going on. But stick with me because that one's going to be fun. Keep building on to this cabin is going to be fun. So listen to these guys, man. They get louder every day. It's like a it's like a spaceship that's coming down the land. You're saying them old movies in the 50s, you know? <laughs> that's what that sounds like. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy trails. You think if I screamed real loud and said, shut up, you think they'd listen? They ain't gonna listen because they can't hear themselves think. <laughs>